<clears throat> but we have to make do. I think they're actually going to rest up here for most of the day now. There's some nice shade. It is cool because it's close to the drainage system. And I think that this is the end of the Ngooma's hunt, unless something walks towards them. And that could definitely happen during the day. You could have a group of impala move through here. Perhaps those warthogs cross the drainage system and come on this way. Or maybe a buffalo uh, heading towards Vuyatela Dam. We'll use this route. And it'll be a route where they will meet great danger in the form of lions. Here comes the little one coming to join her siblings. There we go. All cuddling up now, giving each other grooming sessions. I see that's very important. Now, Ash is one you're wondering if lions have a sort of home to go back to or if they just sleep anywhere. They really do just sort of sleep anywhere, unless it's a lioness and she has a den site. If she has got cubs, then she'll return to the same spot, but that den site also changes every so often. But now that these cubs are sub-adults, uh, they move around, they, they travel great distances. You see, the lionesses don't mark a territory. It's the males that mark and defend territories. The girls sort of just have a home range, so they move around within an area. They also don't want to go in, you know, travel too far out of the area that they've chosen to live in because they will have altercations with other prides of lions. They don't tolerate each other at all, even the girls. So they do hang around here. So they go into the Manuleti. They spend quite a bit of the summer months in the Manuleti. Uh, they, they spend time in Buffleshook, Torchwood, Juma, Simbambili, Arethusa, around sort of here. Yes. Look how well equipped they are. They're able to use their tongues quite nicely now, grooming. And oh hi, Bacon. You said that they are growing up so quickly. They definitely are. Even just as we watch them groom, I remember the days where they didn't want to do any grooming themselves and mom had to give them a bath. And now they do it all, they help groom each other. They're not little cubs anymore, they turned into these lovely little lions. They are looking a little bit scruffy though, it doesn't look like they've had a good brush for quite some time. But I suppose that's what happens when you've spent most of yesterday afternoon and pretty much the entire morning searching for something to eat. Your coat probably does get a bit scruffy, but they'll sort that out. There we go. Clean those ears. Clean your siblings' ears. Get those places that are hard to reach. Now, the only thing is that it's going to become quite tricky here, and there are some other guides that would like to view lions, so I don't think we're going to be able to stay as long as we like, because for everybody to get a decent view is going to become virtually impossible now. And we have got one of the good spots. So we'll sit here for a couple more minutes and then we will move out and give the other guides a chance. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to have a chat to tra Taxon and see if he can't get a view of these lines and if we can stay a bit longer. I'm going to send you across to Ali now. She's had great luck with the elephants today. I wonder what else is going to come her way.